guys? It is Caitlin and it has been a while since I have filmed. This week I am doing a video, a story time video, and an update kind of of where I've been, what's going on, and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna chat with you guys, hang out, how are y'all? Hope you're doing great. I guess I can start with the update. The story time's not too crazy. I just thought it was funny and I wanted to share it with you guys because uh, I maybe it happened to you guys. Who knows? So update. Honestly, I have been very unmotivated to film. I just don't really want to film anymore. I don't know what to film. I'm running out of ideas. I'm not gonna lie. I like to go out and hang with my friends. So I just have not been filming lately. I haven't been enjoying it as much as I used to, which is really sad because I really did enjoy doing this and I still do. It just for a little bit, I just needed a break. I needed needed some time to not film, just to have some fun because like I said, this summer I'm having fun and I really wanted to do videos with my friends this summer, that's another thing, but all of us are working and it's really hard to get all of us together with our schedules and everything, so it's just really impossible to film with my friends. So that's another reason why I'm literally running out of ideas to do my, by myself that you guys would want to see or that I would even want to film. So. That's like another big thing. Hopefully now I'll be getting back into it. I can't say for sure that I'm gonna like upload every week because I just don't know. Again, I need to update my channel art too because it's literally still from Christmas. That's how like lazy I've been about this. But hopefully I can get some motivation. You guys give me some ideas in the comments below that you wanna see, like please, please give me ideas because I would love to film what you guys wanna see and have fun doing it. So yeah, if you have any ideas, just leave them below and um, I'll try to do them. That is another, that's one update. And another update is with Bear, my dog. Um, he has been having back issues. So our vet told us to go to a, I think it was a neurologist. Um, and that is, it, it was in a different state. So we had to drive like um, an hour and a half to get there. And we ended up getting there and they were like, uh, yeah, we're going to keep him overnight and he might need surgery because his discs in his back are not right like when he moves it like they move around here he comes <laughs> hi buddy he's not supposed to be jumping or anything so i'm really trying to get him to like... anyway now he's sitting right here oh, oh careful buddy anyway so we went there they said that we had to keep him overnight um which was really sad because immediately <laughs> Which was really sad because we've never really left him overnight somewhere and we felt really bad. He loves to be around us, so like I said, we felt very bad, but they were very nice, whatever. Um, and they said that we might have to get surgery, but they were going to do an MRI in the morning and to figure out for sure. So we waited around for a really long time the next day, very stressful waiting for him. They didn't call until like 1 o'clock in the afternoon and they were like, so we didn't want to do the MRI because um, for pugs and French bulldogs and any animal that has, uh, any dogs that have like the pushed in nose, they don't like to put under because it's a big risk for them because of their nose. So they, she didn't want to do it. Said he was acting fine. She thinks that she doesn't really have to, she, they didn't think that they had to do it, which was perfect because I didn't want him to have to go under for an MRI and then the surgery. Uh, it was also very expensive, but like we were gonna do it if we had to. She basically said that he, you don't have to do the surgery because she can't promise that um, he'll be fine after. So it was literally just doing surgery to hopefully see if it helps him. So she said to us that we have to keep him in the crate for six weeks. Um, he cannot jump on anything. Uh, we can really don't try to pick him up unless you have to because he can't jump. Um, but like crate rest for six weeks. And they put him on anxiety medication so that he'll be calm. And it's very sad to see because I feel like he thinks we're abandoning him because... I mean, I sit on the floor with him like every single day and like just sit with him for a while. But I feel bad because he can't go on the couch with us and... It's just really hard. Um, we weren't sure if we are going to be able to go to Nova Scotia either because of that, because that's going to be soon. Also, we didn't know if the border was going to be open anyway, so we're still trying to figure that out. So that's another thing. But anyway, so he's okay right now. He's relaxing. He's chilling. He's sleeping right now. So the only thing is to do is to hope that he's okay and hope that it gets better because she was like, I mean, I can't promise that he wouldn't go paralyzed 
so that's another scary thing, but we're really keeping him on the down low. He's not jumping. He's staying in his crate. We're doing everything that they told us to do. So he's doing okay right now, but it's literally only been like a week and it's already hard. So these six weeks are going to be very long, but yeah. That's another update. I guess that's all the updates I have for right now, so let's just get right into the story time. Like I said, this is gonna be kind of quick. I just thought it was funny and kind of aggravating. So I am 21. I turned 21 April 28th. Me and my friends, we go to bars a lot. Um, there's a beach near us that we that has a bunch of bars that we go to, and every single time we go, they give us issues with our IDs because we look so young, so they think that they're fake. So we went into this one bar and the bouncers checked us before we got in. They checked our IDs, said it was fine, whatever. So we got in, bar was really crowded, so we were kind of standing around looking for a table, kind of, we did look kind of confused. We didn't know what we were doing because we, we didn't know what we were gonna do, if we were gonna leave, stay, try to find a table, whatever. So another bouncer came over and he was like, I wanna see IDs again. So we all took out our IDs once again, and I was the last one to hand him my ID. And he was looking at it for a really long time, like just staring at it, bending it, putting it in the light, cause you know you have to shine the flashlight. And he looks at me and he goes, is this fake? And I didn't hear him because there was live music in the back. So I was like, what? So, which probably looked suspicious cause I was like buying time, you know? But I wasn't, I just said what? Cause I couldn't hear him. And he literally asked me five times if the ID was fake. And on the, like the last one, Bo was like, it's not fake. like. And I was like, it's not fake. I don't know what you want me to do. Like go scan it or something. My ID is not fake. So he finally like, he was like, whatever. He handed it to me, gave me a dirty look and then walked away. And I was like, okay, so you're just gonna let me stay. I don't know what that was about. Cause you know, there was, it was no need for that, but whatever. Um, it's happened before in another bar there, they go over and they look at the IDs for like 10 minutes straight, like staring at them and whatever. I don't know how else to tell them that I'm actually 21. I do look very young. I dress young, I guess, but still, I'm 21, I swear. But anyway, let me know if you guys have that issue if you are 21 and you go to bars and they tell you that your ID's fake or that you look young, so they just give you a hard time. That was my story time. Like I said, it was very quick, but I just wanted to share it with you guys and give you guys an update on everything that's been going on, why I haven't been filming. I appreciate everyone subscribing still. Hopefully I can get out more videos. I want to do some more covers as well. Covers just take a lot of time, so I gotta get myself back into videos before I can do covers because that is a little extra work. And like I said, I've been lazy, very unmotivated, but Hopefully I'm getting it gonna get back. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm very thankful if you guys stuck around while I wasn't posting or uploading. If you did like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel because hopefully I'll have more videos coming out. Give me some ideas down below because I need them. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend and a great week. And I will see you guys next week, hopefully. Bye!